and you've got these fake polls where they had 15% more Democrat in, uh, than Republican. I mean, this is amazing. I want to ask Pastor Manning, he's only with us for 30 minutes today. I appreciate his time. We'll go to your phone calls in the third hour today and about 30 minutes from now. Pastor James David Manning in the middle of Harlem helped bring down to a great extent uh, that uh, corrupt uh, thug Al Sharpton. Otla.org has a lot of courage, always has really interesting angles, a lot of wisdom, uh, always helps you know, me clarify things. I mean, he, uh, that's why, I, quite frankly, I, uh, we have him on. What do you think is really going on? What do you think the real numbers are? I think it's a landslide for Trump, but they're going to try to steal it. Uh, what do you make of such a wall of media deception? I've never seen anything like it. What is the real state of the world? Because i got to tell you, Pastor Manning, I've gone from having a lot of concern and feeling the ominous energy build up the last few years to now it's a sickening level where I feel like I'm fighting for my life or something. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm waking up in the middle of the night wanting to work. I'm working seven days a week. I'm breaking out in sweat. It's cold in the studio. I am. I mean, I, I, I'm not a hysterical person. I get angry. I get motivated. But I'm telling you, I can just feel evil rising. There's also a lot of good happening, but I tell you, what are you feeling in your spirit? Well, I, you know, with respect to the, the evil rising, you're absolutely right. Uh, but I think to fully interpret this, uh, we need to go back partially to 2008, where the globalist and new world order people discovered all of a sudden that they wanted Barack Hussein Obama for president. Now, there's several reasons why he was a better choice than than Hillary or John McCain at the time, because they could have gone with, uh, with, with either one. But they decided that they wanted Obama, and they went ahead now and put the, you know, they, they, they queued into the computer system of rigging elections, rigging the media, paying the media, and to some degree, the assassinations, et cetera. Uh, to get Obama in, I mean, because he was not, and then, then they began to yeast up all these crowds. Uh, in, in Dusseldorf, Germany, Obama commanded a crowd of 200,000 people, Alex. You know, this isn't even America, but in Germany, uh, because the European New World Order people there wanted him, and they wanted to say that, that Europe wanted him. So what I think we think we see happening now is the same structure now being used double time. And Hillary is saying, listen, I sat back, I sucked it up, I didn't squeal, I didn't, I didn't try to bring down Obama, I didn't try to reveal who all of y'all are, though you paid me well at Goldman Sachs and allowed me to earn a lot of money there. But I want this election. I want it. I don't care who wants Donald Trump or anybody. I want this election. Make it happen. And that's what we see happening. And Absolutely. we got the emails to all the media telling them what to do. Incredible scandal. Well, I mean, that's, that's a part of the process. It's just one of the more components of the way the media handles all of the information. You know, if Julian Assange is pushing out information or Russia's pushing out information, they, you get pushed back from the dunghead media on these items. And the American people are sitting there asking who they're going to believe. They're you know, lying eyes or the media. So that's what's happening. Do you think they've miscalculated or do you think they're going to pull this off? Well, it's kind of, it's, you know, it depends. They could change horses in the middle of the stream. They have no scruples. These are people without a conscience. Quite frankly, I mean, they, may, they, they don't have a heart. So they could change it. Right now, they've gone ahead and said, listen, Hillary, it's yours. Uh, you've got it. You're 15 points ahead in Colorado, for crying out loud. You're four points ahead in, in Georgia and nine points ahead in North Carolina. Who but believes it, any of that? Oh, well, you know, listen. I here, mean, people hate Obama. They hate Hillary. She can't but, even get but, crowds but, but, of 200 people. But Alex, Alex, people, people here, when a, a Trump supporter hear that Hillary is winning by nine points in North Carolina, you know, listen, Alex, you, you would be going It makes them give you. up hope. That's why they're Right. Absolutely. That's, exactly what I, that's exactly what I want to say. It just defeats them. They feel defeated. I'm not going to the polls. I'm not going into more rallies. I'm going home and get drunk. I'm going to Golden Corral or something. I'm going to Walmart and buy myself another rifle. That's it. They can not, and that's it. That's what they want. And people need to stop doing that, like buying a 20th rifle. And I'm not against buying guns, but I'm saying just like, oh, this will make it okay. I can still have this. You need to politically bust your butt. Because I'm telling you, I don't get up here and lie, folks. We've shown all the reports. We've done it. Every major polling agency is working with the Democrats now with these public polls. They do internal polls so the campaign knows what's happening. Trump was 15 points ahead. 
according to insider polls uh, that were serious polls after the convention. That's why they started sampling 15 points more in these other polls to try to put Hillary ahead. It's totally fake. And I'm not just saying that, but what Manning said is true. It then creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where people then actually believe that's happening. And a lot of folks are on the fence and go, well, I just want to bet on a winner and feel like, you know, I'm with a winner. So, okay, I'm for Hillary now. Yeah, and the other thing, uh, Alex, I think oh, going back to the, the purchasing of more rifles, also you got 10, you're going out by the 11th. No, here, listen, I'm all for the, the uh, Second Amendment. Purchase as many weapons as you need to protect yourself, your family, your, com your country. But here, we need to begin to look at the fact that how do we protect ourselves against lithium chemtrails and fluoride and the autism shots that are given out children. Exactly, and we're getting hit by, they're not, they're not going to hit a straight up military up front. That's for mopping right. up. And, and look, look. I know because when bad people get elected and bad things happen, I psychoanalyzed myself years ago going to the shop, buying more guns and ammo, literally as like a comfort blanket. And, yeah. and, and, and so I'm not putting people down. I know I do it. No, I'm not either. God knows I'm not doing that. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is... No, no, is I agree that, with you. I agree with you. We, we need to start thinking about a better defense mechanism because if they want to remove an entire community, they, let's say, for instance, they wanted a part of Georgia, the bordering Tennessee that they wanted to just annihilate, they could do that in one fell swoop. I don't care how many weapons you got there, you can't shoot lithium out of the air. And, and, but purchase your weapons, please do so. But, but we're under attack by more ways than just guns. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about spiritual attack, more and more I realize we just gotta go to God, hit our knees. In fact, I, I'm putting you on the spot, you didn't expect to do this, Pastor, but I really respect you and watch your TV show and, and, and also catch some of your sermons that are powerful. Uh, there in Harlem, broadcast around the world. Will you lead the, uh, us in prayer to uh, maybe heal this nation or to protect Donald Trump or to have the, uh, uh, the collectively the people be knocked off their horses uh, like, like Saul of Tarsus on his road to Damascus? Because, I mean, really, I think it's we have to ask God, don't we? I mean, is it that? Oh, no. Absolutely. If you desire prayer, I certainly will pray. Please Would do. You want me Let's go to the Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you. And uh, we realize, almighty God, we cannot win this election, take back America. We cannot be free without you. Uh, there was a time and the sentiments and the odor of when we could go to the election, pull the lever for a particular candidate, and it worked. Our vote was respected. But Jesus, we're fighting a much more deeper spiritual battle. We're fighting enemies that have powers over the airways. We're fighting an enemy who have power over the very foods that we eat. We need a word from heaven. We need your word, almighty God, to be able to sustain us. We, we need your power like you rain down fire from heaven with Elijah on the 850 prophets that were serving Jezebel and Ahab. We need the likeness of your power. We, we, we need, almighty God, for you to touch the hearts of people who want, to, who want to walk free, who want to walk in this beautiful nation. What a, what a scream it is to see this beautiful nation ravaged by the people of the New World Order who are destroying it by bringing in minorities and pushing out original founders and people who worked hard to make the trains run on time in this nation to ravage it and to carve it up into various sections and pit people against one another. We need you, almighty God, to work against the forces of Obama and all the people that he has under his foot and all the people that are in the grave as a result of him and of the Clintons. A, a large number of things can be said about politicians and they all have their shortcomings. I'm not sure I'd ever wanna be one, but one thing I do know it is unmistakably clear that the Democrats have been charged with the actual silence and assassination and murdering of people that get in their political way a lot more, even more so than we can ever begin to think about the Republicans. And I'm not for either one, they're both politicians. But Jesus, we need you. Let the American people turn to you. Yes, go to the rallies and support, but we need a word from the Lord. And let the preachers in the pulpits get up and start standing up and preaching your word again, not being afraid of the, the, the police or the CIA or Homeland Security or whosoever wants to come in. And let us all stand together. If they come at Alex, then let them know that they're gonna have to come at all of America. We're coming down out of Oregon. 
to support Alex. We're coming out of New Hampshire to support Alex. You will not be able to get in and out of a jailhouse if you arrest the voice that represent us. You won't be able to go home. We will surround the entire county with 100,000 deep of men who are standing saying, the hell, we're not going to take it anymore. What we are going to take is back our nation. Jesus, you can do that. You can rally us the way you did Gideon. You can rally us, almighty God, the way you did David. You can rally our troops the way you did Joshua. And we are trusting that you do that. We pray that this prayer goes out all over the world that men and women may know, but especially here in America, that we can stop all of this and we can salvage our nation in your name, Jesus. Not in our name, but in your name. And in your name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. And, and we see the persecution of Christians expanding. We see that there is an evil force behind the New World Order, Pastor Manning. If that force had its way, what would it do on this planet? Well, what it primarily wants to do is to continue to call itself into the power of God. That's ultimately what they want to be able to do, Alex. They want to call themselves into the power of God. Be omnipresent, control the weather, control society, control the words, play God. Yeah, and they want, the, they want to dumb down the American people, and they're using the media. And we need to talk more about the media. I, I'm going to have to go. you got to go. But we need to talk more about the media being a surrogate, if no, you will. No, start getting into it, because they admit that when we have CNN admitting, we do everything for Hillary we can. I mean, they just admit they're doing it. They admit they take orders. It's, it's shameless now. Yeah, but they, they want to use the media the way we ought to be using the church. They want to use the media to get people to actually bow down and worship whatever gods or politicians or ideologies that they put forward. They, they want the media uh, to be, you, when you, you don't have to go to church anymore. You can sit there in your, in your easy cha chair, a lazy boy, and, and you can watch whatever you're watching on the media. If you're watching CNN, you, you, you're, being, you're being led to believe a particular idea. They're talking about how their veracity is always on point. They're self-checking themselves, and then they bring in their own disciples who they call commentators to support the things that they're saying. And people are beginning to worship these people. They worship people like Apple. They worship the leaders of Google as if they, they worship these people. And so what they want to do is they really want to stand in the place of God and don't nobody ever forget it. That's well, there, was a, there was an AP headline the other day asking, why are these tech company heads obsessed with eternal life? And they'll tell you, we're going to merge the machines and become God. We want to be God. Absolutely. And, and they're looking for every possible way. You know, I'm really, I watched the event of Steve Jobs and Apple. Yeah, who knows exactly what has happened with Steve Jobs? I know people call me conspiracy theorists. Oh, they, they killed him for sure. I'm a hat wearer and all of these kinds of things they say about me. I, I brush it off. And, but I think what they're trying to do is to stop me when I've got something concrete to put to people but I don't have the empirical evidence to make it work to try to make me look silly. But I don't know what happened to Steve Jobs. I have no idea. I mean, we got Julian Assange over there in the Ecuador, uh, if you will, embassy, who has been able to feed information and, 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 and give a support system, and he has supported. We don't know where all these people are going or coming. We only get what the media tells us about them. Jobs still may be around looking to do something. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 all I know is I don't believe the media. I don't believe what they tell me. I no, I hear you. They lie so much, we can't believe any of it. It's like Hillary, a year and a half ago, accused Trump of being an ISIS recruiter and saying he was their colonel or, or their, their sergeant. A recruiting sergeant was the exact term. Soros said that. Then he comes out and points out she's really funding it. And then, oh, how dare you? It, it's just... It's gotten so intense, I wonder what levels above this are going to be like. Have you seen the clip of the outgoing State Department spokesman last week saying, look, I, you, know, you know, we lie to the public and, and like laughing about it? No, I don't think I've seen that clip. No, I, I don't. I don't. But I do know this, that the that the, the, the Clinton and Obama and others have been involved in the process of ISIS, involved in the process of creating an environment where uh, ISIS thrives. Listen, 
there are a number of people who understand if, if they ever get in my gun sights, it's all over with. They, they know it. And if an organization, you got an organization that's rising with militancy around the world and the president or the leader of the so-called free world or the so-called president does not put them in his gun sights, but lets them continue to roam around and to grow and gain power. I, I got to ask, why is that? You know, why does that happen? Because they created it on record. Yeah. So, I mean, we have to ask hard questions and we can't, you know, one of the things I have to do on a daily basis, Alex, is I have to fortify myself against people calling me stupid for questioning these criminals and politics. Absolutely. Uh, it, it, being ridiculed means nothing to me, but seeing how dumbed down some people are really hurts me. Like, like a globalist sees some dumbed down person and says, oh, that's an opportunity to feed on this person. I just see a poor brainwashed person and it makes me feel sick. Final segment with Pastor Manning, then your phone calls, breaking news and more. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Infowars.com is the website. Every day now I sit here and it's like the Twilight Zone, like Matt Drudge said a few days ago. When the father of the guy that murdered all the people at the nightclub shows up in the VIP area about right behind Hillary and the Secret Service, and she's openly funding ISIS, she openly set it up and advocated for arming the rebels who they knew who they were. She's involved in all this corruption. She's involved in the TPP. Now she says she was always against it, will be against it. And it just becomes ridiculous. I mean, I wonder where they're going to go next. Then we talk about her health problems. I mean, I do see it as biblical, like the plagues of Pharaoh, how unhealthy Bill looks, how unhealthy Hillary looks. The fact that they may be able to steal the election, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but even if they do get in there, what do you predict is going to happen once she's in there? Well, there are a couple of things. Number one is that I I think we need to, to be able to read the, the tea leaves more accurately we, we need to focus on what I've seen very few people focus on, and that is the relationship between, between Tim Kaine and Hillary Clinton. Uh, that whether it's more than just a political relationship. And I'll leave it at that, but I, I got to tell you, we'll find a lot of answers if we'll go down that road of Tim Kaine and Hillary. Who are they and, and why are they? Now, to try to respond to your question, uh, you know, I was talking to someone the other day and it said that if you want to find out what's going to happen in the future, watch the cartoons because they put it in the cartoons, the globalist people put it in the cartoons first and see if it works, see if Mikey likes it, see if the kids like it. If the kids like it, then they go ahead and implement it. They find out that it works. It has a nice taste and a flavor to it. Uh, what I would say is that Whatever your wildest imagination can happen uh, in America in terms of turning it upside down. Right now, we've got more hatred, people, brother to brother, people to people, race to race. I mean, just the opposite of what they were touting to happen when they put that long-legged Mac Daddy Obama in the office. And, and we've got absolutely... Nothing done for the people for which the, the, he was elected to do and everything to do for Wall Street, the bankers and wealthy people worldwide and for the Muslims. I, I, I mean, Muslims, were, they've been around for a very long time, but God knows that Obama has lifted them to a pinnacle right now where the Catholics, the Christians are minorities in comparison to the kind of press the media, the Muslims get. So what I, to try to answer that question about Hillary, what is your wildest imagination of, of what she could possibly do and will do? Because she's going to want to outdo Obama, to be sure. That woman is well, wild. She's foaming at the mouth in a war with Russia. Yeah, she's wild. She's, she's wild, Hillary. I mean, she's wild. And by the way, you know, Bill is not as bad as Hillary. Even though he looks sick, he looks like he's dying. I don't know what he got him on. But he looks like he's getting ready to die tomorrow, uh, first thing tomorrow morning. But... He, she's a whole lot. It's Hillary, everybody. Not Bill that you got to be afraid of. Oh, she of. admittedly ran the show. No, absolutely. She'd been running it for quite some time. She's already so been she president had... for at least eight years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to get around the term limit. You just. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
every time she has had little big glasses coming out of that school that she went up there and then some place up there in the, up here in the Northeast. But yeah, I, I suspect that you, what if the, your wildest imagination of what can possibly happen to this nation uh, is going to happen if Hillary sits down in the Oval Office. Because that's what they want. They want to mount our head on the wall. Thank you so much, Pastor Manning. It was always uh, great to talk to you. Atla, A-L, A-T-L-A-H dot org. A-T-L-A-H dot org. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. God bless you as well, Alex. Take care. Thank you so very much for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank we'll you. be thank back you. in 70 seconds with your phone calls. Wide open phones.